In this video, we will go over connecting your MailChimp account with Gracecard. So the first thing you'll need to do is get your MailChimp API key. So to get that, go to your MailChimp dashboard, under your account, go to Extras, and API Keys. If you don't see anything here, then you can create a new API key. But in this case, we're just going to select the one that we already created. Just copy that to your clipboard. Now, from your Grace Card and Men, you're going to go to Settings, Integrations, MailChimp. And here on step one, just paste in your API key and click Connect. Next, we're going to choose a subscriber list we want to sync with Grace Card. You can choose that list from this drop down here. So, in our case, we're going to select Farm Newsletter. Now, if you don't see any lists listed here, you'll need to create one from your MailChimp account. So the third thing we want to do is set up our merge fields and webhooks. So all we want to do is make sure that add list fields and add webhooks are selected and then click set up checked items. This will automatically set up your MailChimp list so that Gracecart can better sync with it. I'll show you what I mean. If we go back to MailChimp and we look at our list that we synced, you'll see under settings, list fields and merge tags. Gracecard has added a whole bunch of uh, different fields that connect with what's in Gracecard. So you can see things like city, state, um, fulfillment ID, fulfillment name, that would be the, uh, for example, the pickup location name, store credit, the last purchase. So Gracecard can then send information to MailChimp and it will be synced up. Next we can check under webhooks. And we can see that a webhook has been set up. Now yours will look a little different. It should have the URL to your Gracecart site. So that completes the integration between MailChimp and Gracecart. The next thing you might want to do is import your existing Gracecart customers into MailChimp so that their information is synced up. To do that, we'll go back to our Gracecart admin. The first thing we'll do is go to Settings, Customers, Scroll down to the bottom, under Export Format, select MailChimp. Now go back to our Customer Index screen. Under Filter Customers, we'll export all of our customers. Now we'll go back to MailChimp. Under our MailChimp list, we'll go to Add Contacts, Import Contacts. We'll select CSV, then we'll browse for that file that we just downloaded. You shouldn't have to do anything on this screen. It's already taken care of for you. Just click Next. From this screen, you want to make sure Subscribed is checked and also Auto Update My Existing List. Click Import. Now your contacts from Gracecart have been added into MailChimp. We can view one of these contacts to see what information was synced. Here we can see we have their fulfillment name, their store credit, their last purchase, a bunch of useful information. Anytime changes happen in Gracecart, it'll sync with your MailChimp list. The next thing you might want to do is go to Settings and Newsletter. Here you have some options for how to collect new subscribers. If auto subscribe is enabled, anytime someone creates an account, they'll be automatically added to your newsletter list. It's important that if you do this, you provide a privacy policy that explains that you're doing this. If this is disabled, you can have an opt-in at registration checkbox. And this will be checked automatically, but it does give the subscriber an option to unsubscribe from your newsletter when they create an account. Well, that about wraps it up for the uh, MailChimp integration. As usual, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Have a great day.